In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most important elements to creating an offensive scheme in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And we do that through sharing videos with you every single day that are going to basically be designed to break down something on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball to give you some um, food to chew on, some practical tips that can help you improve in this game. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. And if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now in this video, we are sharing with you what I believe to be one of the most important and most foundational tips when it comes to offensive football in Madden 21. And that is to have a power play. Now to do this, we're actually gonna be using, kind of a, uh, offering you a free sample or a free inside look into our gun bunch tight end offensive guide. If you wanna get my bunch tight end offensive guide or my Jets offensive guide, they're both just 15 bucks. The Jets guide comes with the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset, kind of based around these principles. But really one of the most important things that you have to start with is your mindset offensively. And you have to choose whether or not you want to be a complex Madden player or a simple Madden player. And research has shown that the most effective offenses, both in Madden and in the real NFL, are simple to execute. They're very simple offenses. They have a, a collection, a finite number of plays that fit very well together. The Colts of the early 2000s are a great example of this. And so we're gonna be using kind of that philosophy, that core philosophy of simplifying your offense so that you can focus on execution. Air raid offenses love to simplify and you know that's kind of the, the philosophy that I've really adapted from the air raid into the Madden world. And so again, if you wanna get my complete gun bunch tight end offensive guide or the Jets guide, I'm gonna leave both of those in the description of this video um, for you to be able to access those. They're just 15 bucks each. Um, so I would recommend getting the Jets guide. It's the best bang for your buck right now in the Madden community, $15 and you get the three best formations in the entire game. So um, very, very effective. But anyways, we're gonna start with the bunch tight end. And where you start with offense, if you're gonna start with a simple strategy, is you start with a power play. And the beauty of the bunch tight end is it probably has one of, if not the most powerful passing concepts in Madden 21, and that is the PA boot over. Now this play has been very good all season long. Um, Henry, the, the, the phenom that's 17, um, he actually was probably one of the first people in the community that really was running this at a very high level, very competitive level. In fact, in the Madden Bowl, I think he actually ran majority of bunch tight end. That was his primary offense. And so um, that just shows how powerful this offense can be. Um, and so here's how we're gonna kind of approach this. What we wanna do when we have a power play is we wanna have a couple of things. The first thing that we wanna have whenever we're talking about developing a power play is we wanna have a route that they can have, that they are going to have a hard time stopping. So they're gonna have a hard time stopping it with man coverage, and they're gonna have a hard time stopping it regardless of the zone coverage that they use. And so for PA boot over, that route is primarily the rollout crossing route. You'll see here, if I get out of the pocket, I can, you know, I got kind of a bad animation there, but as you can see, I can throw that crossing route very consistently. And I can get that crossing route over several popular defenses, and I'm going to force them to have to adjust, right? No zone really gets there unless they put zone drops on their field and they drop their zones back to about 30 yards. So it forces them to have to do something to stop it. That is, the, that is the really the foundational principle. You want to have a play where it forces them to have to do something to stop your primary route. The second thing that you want to have is you want to have a very effective check down. You want to have something that you can go to if the play breaks down. The beauty of the bunch tight end, and this is why the bunch tight end is such an effective passing uh, formation this year, is because this delay fade is probably the glitchiest route in the game. As you can see against zone coverage, it just goes and goes and goes and goes, and it can go for a very long time, as you can see right up the, right up the seam, and you're able to hit it very consistently. The other beauty of this is, again, this is kind of the best of both worlds because not only does that crossing route beat man and zone, but the delay fade route is another route that will beat main coverage as well as zone coverage. And again, so we're just gonna roll out of the pocket. You see here, he's gonna give us some chase here, and then we're just gonna release the ball right before we get hit for a nice easy gain of about 10 to 15 yards. This is the cornerstone of a power play. A power play is something that literally forces the defense 
to have to do a very specific adjustment to stop it. Once they do that adjustment, whether it be with their user or with their coaching adjustments, probably gonna have to be a combination of both within this offense. Then what we wanna do is develop the rest of our scheme. But where we start is we wanna have a play that we can run about 70 to 80% of the time that will yield us fairly successful results. So as you can see here, this play has so many options and is so effective for that reason. So this is where we start. Now, over the course of the next couple of days, we're gonna be diving into this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you know whenever new videos come out that can help you uh, and kind of walk you through this process. And again, if you wanna get my complete Gun Bunch tight end guide, this is kind of the foundation of it. The offensive guide goes into a lot more detail. It also shares film study analysis and things like that. Um, so if you want to get my complete gun bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. It's completely, uh, or I mean, it's 15 bucks, completely affordable for you guys. And it's a great way for you guys to be able to support the channel um, and allow me just to kind of keep doing what I do here. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Streams are going to be starting up next week. Um, just got moved into the new house here, so just kind of doing some tests with the internet. But again, if you want to get that Gun Bunch tight end offensive guide, it's going to be down below in the description. Thanks for watching today.